Oh, look at the new maps. Oh, this is so cool. These are Avengers Campus maps. These are going to be a little historic because yeah, Avengers so Campus cool. just opened. Spider-Man! He's my favorite. Spidey. This is all, this is what I needed right here. The foodie guide and the merch guide and all the photo ops. <laughs> <laughs> We're inside now. <laughs> Avengers Campus. Yeah. Guys, how are you doing? We're here in yeah. Avengers Campus. Finally, we made it inside. <laughs> it took a while to it get inside. A but we're here. Now we're gonna go walk around, show you guys all the great stuff. Yeah. We're gonna take you on this ultimate foodie guide to show you all the delicious foods they have here <laughs> in Avengers Campus. So we want you guys to come along. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the wonderful world, world of food. food. I got myself this awesome infinity gauntlet. Look how cool that is. I got myself a Sprite. So it comes with Sprite, Coke, Diet Coke. And yeah, look. It's a galactic cool. Sprite, huh? Yeah, so I, now I'm sure, to, I'm sure it's a little cool because why? It lights up. Whoa. Yeah. That's really cool. Now That's this is $30. So cool. And yeah, come and get it at the Shawarma Palace <laughs> and a galactic Coke or a galactic Sprite. Woohoo. Careful not to snap now. Careful not to oh snap. No. I won't, I won't. I'm that careful. Me sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so up next we're gonna go to the Terran treats. Let's go! Since before Avengers Campus opened, I've been wanting to try these treats, the churro treats. And uh, what was the other one called? It was like some moon cake or something. It was like a moon rock, right? Yeah, moon rock. They yeah. both look delicious. They do. And I'm finally glad that the day yeah. came where we finally get to test them. I know. I mean, last time we were here, we were like, that looks delicious. Right? Anything with true on it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Count me in. Uh -huh. There they are, guys. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. So at the Terran Treats, I got the Sweet Spiral Ration, and look how pretty. It's supposed to be a pineapple churro, so let's try it out. Mm. Ooh, look how I like look that gray color. Apart. Yeah. That looks like fun. It just tastes like a regular churro with a hint of pineapple, which is really nice. I like that. I like it. So if you're at Avengers Campus and you want something sweet and subtle of pineapple, get yourself this. It's fun and it's swirly and... And I also got myself the Cosmic Cream Ore with raspberry filling right inside. And it looks, supposedly it's really nice, but it kind of looks like a burnt marshmallow, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Like when you burn marshmallows like and toast asteroid, marshmallows. You know? looks like oh, a that's spin true. <laughs> See, I'm a foodie. I think of food first. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But it does look like a space rock. Oh, she's going to pull it apart? Here we go. Get that foodie pull. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty. I love the... See, I don't get the colors like that. They're so vibrant. Mm. It's like a cheesecake with a little hint of raspberry. This is so good. I'll say if you're looking for a treat at Avengers Campus, get yourself this delicious ore because it's not only is it cute and pretty and vibrant and good for Instagram pictures, but it's so delicious and it's so like sweet, but it's like not overwhelmingly sweet. Overwhelmingly sweet. It's delicious and I love it. Mm. <laughs>
So after the Battle of New York, our Avenger heroes got to get some delicious shawarma in New York City. So we're gonna get some shawarma from the same place. It's a shawarma palace. It's almost ready. We're praying my order. Ah, uh, so yes. I'm so excited there. for this. The Avengers' favorite snack is the shawarma. Yes, and the shawarma palace yeah. is right behind us. Yeah. Look at that. It actually smells really good around here. <laughs> it does. And, uh, oh man, Janelle. I'm hungry. I again. am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Very hungry. Me too. We just have like our little desserts, but. Yeah. I mean, we're foodies and we never mm -hmm. get full. <laughs> and if you notice, if I look a little red, it's because I'm burnt. <laughs> a little sunburned. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to wear the sunblock. What, what's wrong with me? There's the Hulk. <laughs> and there's Iron Man. That's pretty cool. That's nice. I like that they have these uh, newspaper clippings. Look at this. Here's New York's tastiest shawarma. And they also have the Impossible Victory Falafel down there. Ooh. We got them right here. And they're pretty hot because they're burning my fingers. All right, so right here we have the New York's tastiest chicken shawarma wrap, garlic spread, and coconut yogurt tahini sauce with pickled vegetables. Wow, that looks pretty big. And I've been hearing some good stuff about this, so here we go. <laughs> One thing I don't like though is that they gave me pretty much a lot of bread. <laughs> so I didn't get a lot of chicken, uh, but hold on. Let me take this off. There we go, there's the chicken right there. All right, all right, so I'm gonna add some of this sauce here. Let's see if that gives it any enhanced flavor. It's really, <laughs> it's really messy. It falls apart really easy. Oh no. The chicken shawarma tastes good on its own, but when you add this, that enhances the flavor so much more. It gives it a really good, nice pickle taste. Oh it man, that's good. It is messy though. It is messy. Mess <laughs> It is messy, I just bit my tongue when I said that. But it has more of an earthy taste when you add this. And it does have a nice garlicky flavor. I do like the fact that the pita is fresh and delicious, but it is really messy, folds apart, and it gave me a little bit too much bread. Cause right over here at the end, that's where all the chicken is. It could have just fallen to the bottom, but honestly it felt like it was a little too much bread. I do like it. If you're here at Avengers Campus, this is definitely something you should try. Guys, so I got the Victory Impossible Falafel. It has falafel, well, plant-based falafel. It has cauliflower and some hummus. It also comes with the same sauce that, um, that Mick V had in the last one, which I'm gonna put a little bit. That sauce is good. I love this sauce. This sauce is like packed with flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. I gotta do it like that. <laughs> I like this little yogurt. This was not as bad as yours though. <laughs> yeah, mine had all bread. <laughs> I mean, it's all bread. Mm -hmm. Mine has like packed full of stuff. See, I like this. It's packed full of flavor. It's very earthy. It feels kind of like a. How would you say? It's a, it's, it is a bit dry just because you do have dry ingredients like the falafel and the bread. So I think this is like. Once you add this, it's like extra crunch, extra wetness, I guess you can say. It's extra moist. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you add all this together, I'm telling you, you guys, this is like amazing. I think I prefer this one than the chicken shawarma and the ronto wraps. I'm not saying a lot. This is like packed full of flavor. It's very earthy. And the sauce is like, you can just eat it alone just like that. And that's not sauce, it's yogurt. You can just eat it alone and trust me, guys, it's so delicious. So if you're here at Avengers Campus and you're craving a shawarma, give yourself the falafel because you won't be disappointed. All right, so we just got summoned to Pim's testing lab. For some delicious drinks, let's go. We're gonna go get our drinks. Let's go. Oh, let's do yes. it. Oh, look who it is. Hey, oh, hey, oh, what's up? What's <laughs> All right, we're here with our friends Katie and Spence from Best Hi. Life and Dylan. Hello. Oh, from Theme Park. He got himself. What did you get? I have the experiment from Pim's Test Kitchen. And this little concoction is so good because it's like a tequila with mango habanero in there. Oh, Ooh, it's really yeah. good. So good. All right, so right here we have the experiment. And right here you have Patron Silver. You also have a mango and habanero syrup. Look at that. It's very pretty. And then on top, you also have your mango bobas. Whoa, and a little leaf just fell in there. Woo. <laughs> I'm sure it's still pretty good. 
Ooh, wow. It's on a warm day to play. <laughs> Spoon day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is really delicious. I don't really taste a lot of the tequila, but it is very sweet. I do taste a lot of that mango. You get that habanero tingle in your throat. This is actually a great drink, especially for a warm day to like today. Basically, you can just go to Pim and get yourself a delicious experiment. Very good. So I got myself the Practical Fizz. It has a summer hard seltzer. It also has some cherry pop popping bobas or dancing right and around in there. And you also have some passion fruit and some orange flavors inside. So let's try it out. Cheers. I'm gonna try it from the beaker. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it tastes like, like like alka seltzer. <laughs> yeah, it, it tastes does. like a flat sprite to it's me. It's like a flat sprite with no flavor at all. I do taste a little bit of the passion fruit, but it's not like a sweet passion fruit. It's more like a like a bitter. Like yeah, I didn't like it too much either. Not a, not one of our favorites. Yeah, I mean, you guys can come over and try that for yourself. What do you think? This is not a good experiment. They gotta work on this experiment. I think. Yeah, not too <laughs> yeah. good. That's not too a good. failed experiment. Uh oh. Me. <laughs> So I also got the honey fusion with beer cocktail, some honey sticks right inside. Well, actually, just one honey stick right inside, and some gin. So cheers! This one looks pretty good. Let's try it out. Oh, that's good. It just tastes like a like a fresh light beer with a little hint of honey, and it's so refreshing, especially on this hot day right now where. We, you probably definitely need this to cool you off and also to loosen you up a little bit. It's delicious. I definitely recommend this one out of all the other drinks. This one and the uh, experiment. So oh yeah, delicious. those are the best. All right, so this is the regulator. So this is basically almost the same as the experiment, but this is a beer cocktail with Patron Silver Tequila and Mango Bobas up top, just like the other one. I'm gonna try this one out now. So this one, it, it's gonna taste a little bit more like beer, uh, but it does have that nice taste of the mango bobas popping in your mouth, which is pretty good. I do like that it's very sweet, and you do get that extra taste, delicious taste of tequila right at the end. It actually is, I think, the best part of this drink. I do like it, it is pretty good, but I think my favorite one so far has been the experiment and the, uh, what was yours called? The honey? The honey fit The honey, yeah, the honey fizz or honey fusion. That one's really good. That's probably my favorite one. All right, so right here we have the snack molecules. Now this is mini pretzels, honey roasted peanuts, and sweet and spicy popped sorghum. So it's pretty cool. It comes in a nice little baggie here. Let's open it up. <laughs> All right, is this what Pim eats himself? Let's see. It's a little savory, it's a little sweet, but it does have a taste of pop ramen, like you said, or what's it's it called? Like a beef top ramen packet, yeah. like, and then sweet at the same time. Yeah, it's like the the, the packets they put in the uh, ramen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try this. Now. But then also, it's not bad though. It's sweet. It's, yeah. I didn't like it. But... You didn't like it? It's kind of peanut oh. buttery, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take off the glasses. Glasses off. <laughs> It tastes like an Asian like snack that I've had before. Kind yeah. of like a wasabi kind of like teriyaki-ish flavor. Kind of, yeah. That's what it, it's giving me those kind of vibes. Like, God, I know what that tastes like. I've had this before. Like soy sauce, like ginger? No. It's like a it's an it's like an Asian snack like kind of trail mix that yeah. I have. What do you think? I, I'm, I feel like Katie's spot on. She says it tastes like top ramen. Just the, the actual the packet of and kind the of tastes seasoning. like top ramen. That goes on top ramen, yeah. yeah. That's what it kind of tastes like to me, too. <laughs> That's what it kind of tastes like peanut butter. I'm yeah, maybe sad about it. I'm gonna try this, because this one has a lot of seasoning on yeah. it. Okay. Okay, now that one's... <laughs> Everything's got a different flavor. It's weird. What is this? Uh, I like it, though. It's not bad. Would you it's recommend it? Yeah. With this, yes. <laughs> Not on its own. I think you have to have like a, a drink in order for you to I enjoy mean, it. So this is what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the, it tastes just like that. It's like an Asian, I think Chinese, like a trail mix, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's like sweet and savory at the same time. That's exactly what it reminds yeah, me of. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Field testing. Here I come. I need to get some good upside down jokes. Good to see ya! Whoa! Hang on! 
My spider sense is telling me I need to test this suit. Okay, it's not. But I want to do some swinging. Here we go! test kitchen in. What's really cool about this <laughs> restaurant is that they're using the PIM particles to grow some food and to shrink some food. some food. So we're gonna check out and see what foods <laughs> they've shrunk and which ones they've grown. I know, I'm excited. We ordered a lot of food guys, so stay tuned because oh, it's gonna be a delicious my one, I hope. Goodness. <laughs> Oh, did they just make that pretzel bigger? Oh, that's good. One thing we didn't think through is uh, how are we going to carry all this food? <laughs> okay, the delicious one right here. Oh. And then you can probably carry this drink and I'll carry the rest. I'll carry the drink, you'll have the chocolate bar, huh? <laughs> uh huh. I'm not gonna see her for the whole night. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, because this chocolate's gonna get bounced around everywhere, I bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look right, at this, the hits just keep on coming. Whoa, we're having dinner with some friends over here. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving yeah. 2.0. <laughs> Look at all that food. This chicken sandwich looks good, but this meatball, little tiny meatball, you see it? Oh, yeah, that's so cute. Delicious. That large Caesar salad. Oh my the god. Sandwich. <laughs> this is a banana smoothie. What is that? It's a banana smoothie. And then this, it's a peanut butter and jelly punch. Whoa. A little bit of peanut butter, little pieces of peanut butter on top. Oh, I do see it. And some whipped cream. Ooh. <laughs> my life. Oh my gosh, guys. This is 453.8 grams of Bavarian style with sharp cheddar cheese and beer sauce. Look at that pretzel, it's so big. Whoa, <laughs> they blew up the pretzel. Honey, I blew up the pretzel, look at this. Honey, I blew up the pretzel. Oh yeah, look at this. That's the beer sauce, the beer kessel. Surprise, the, the pretzel is so pretty warm. <laughs> We had to walk all the way from the Pim Kitchen to this location so we can find a place to sit here with all our good friends and it's still pretty warm. I like it. That is a really cool pretzel and if you're here with your family, this is definitely something you can share with about maybe three, four people. That's a lot of food. And of course that queso, I do like it. It's very nice. It does have that taste of beer, but a lot of people prefer the mustard. I like that cheese. <laughs> and I got myself the Caesar salad with the colossal crouton. Did you check out that crouton? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's Jumongo. Some Parmesan cheese right on top and some obviously Caesar's dressing. Should I just, just, just go for wow, it? Wow, you should go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to go a little fancy. I love that chicken sandwich. There you go. It's going to go all in. You're so fancy, you know? Why am I so fancy with salads? I have no idea. <laughs> there we go. Regular salad? A little salad. You mm -hmm. forgot the crouton though. Oh no. How could you forget the crouton? I know it's Jamongo. 
it actually taste like a crouton? It does taste like a crouton, but it's not as far as that I want a crouton to be. Does that oh, make sense? Okay. It's a little bit like a, a little bit softer, but not too soft where it's like just bread. Uh huh. But yeah, it tastes like a crouton. I All prefer right. it to be a little harder, but it sounds pretty good. It's just a regular Caesar salad and it's fresh and it's light and it's something if you want looking for something light here at Vivendo's campus, can you just have this because it's delicious. All right, so this is the rigatoni with ditalini pasta. And uh, it is very fun to look at, very colorful. And they also have a little shrunken meatball right here in the corner. It's a little fork. Right? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to try with a little fork. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know what you gotta do? You gotta pick up that meatball. That Which meatball. one? This, you have to pick up that meatball with that little fork, yeah. Use your muscles. There we go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's a heavy meatball. All right. Got it. <laughs> mm. I'm usually not the biggest fan of Impossible Meat. That is delicious. Tastes just like a regular meatball. I'm gonna use a regular fork this time. <laughs> and the pasta is very al dente perfect. That's a very good rigatoni. I do like this. If you're here at Avengers Campus, this is honestly one of my favorite dishes. I suggest you try it. So I got myself the Atomic Fusion pretzel and look at some buffalo, some cheese, some celery. All right, I think I'm just gonna do the mad journey's way and just go for it. Everything's falling, but it's okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it has so much flavor. It's like not spicy, but it's like it has some flavor and some kick. It almost tastes like a like a buffalo chicken sandwich, I guess, but with like a pretzel bun, you know what mm, I mean? All right. So I say you go for this one if you're, if you're at, 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 I keep wanting to call it, I keep wanting to call it Tim, Tim's. Pims. Pims. <laughs> Pims. 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 Test, Test kitchen. Test kitchen, see? All right, so this is the not so little chicken sandwich. Look at this. That's a big piece of chicken. And it's breaded chicken with coleslaw, nice little bun here, and some uh, tater tots, wow. Well, let me grab some of this chicken here. Let's taste it. <laughs> wow, how am I even gonna get to that bread? Ah, that chicken is nice and crispy. It's very delicious. What I do like about it is, not only is it flavorful, but it kind of tastes like a milanesa. Have you ever had that? It's kind of like a breaded, uh, well, it's kind of like breaded chicken, just like you see here. Kind of like a... Is it breaded beef? Yeah, but this is chicken. Oh, okay. It kind of tastes like a chicken parmesan, if that makes any sense. This is actually really good. I do like the sauce that's on there. It's kind of like a buffalo sauce, what it tastes like. The coleslaw is good. Um, I want to taste this bun. That's a little bit of everything. Man, I wish they blew up those buns because <laughs> I kind of want a bun with the whole, like, the whole chicken. It's really good, and this is fun. This is something I would enjoy to eat every time I'm here. Mmm. Nice and crispy. That's another delicious dish that I would definitely try here at Avengers Campus. <laughs> Very good. And I also got myself a banana smoothie. I like it. It's a bit on the sweeter, sweeter side, but I like it. It definitely tastes like a banana. Mm. This brings me to the childhood. My childhood, my mom used to make this all the time for me when I was a kid, and I love it. Look at this cute pin mini because it's marinara sauce, focaccia bread, it has some provolone cheese, it also has some, is it rosemary ham, and also has some salami, and some sun dried wow. tomato based salsa on there. And they also That's have a hundred dollar variant of this sandwich. They do, so they do have a hundred dollar sandwich, and it's just basically this, but like in a long version cut up. Yeah. So, so you're basically about, getting like eight of those, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Basically, right? yeah. yeah. That's what it is. So I got a little piece of the. You know, when I heard a hundred dollar sandwich, I thought it was gonna be like a huge. I thought big, it was a, like a big one of those. Yeah, me too. I thought it was gonna be like a huge sandwich. You yeah, know how but it's do not. It's just eight of those. It's just tiny eight of those. Sandwiches. It's basically like think of this as a square like this, yeah, and then cut, but bigger. Yeah. Right? But I got a piece of it. So if you're interested, a little bite. Oh, I love focaccia bread, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This is packs of meat, oh my gosh. This is like... Mm. Some marinara sauce. That's delicious. That's what it's all about, huh? I went to like foodie heaven for like a minute. Ooh. I didn't want to come back. That's how good it is. It's like nice. savory and like crunchy because of like the, the toasted focaccia bread. Mm -hmm. It's savory because of the cheese and the ham and the 
salami, but that sun-dried tomato with the marinara sauce, it's like chef's kiss, it's like perfect. You also have some arugula. Put some on it, yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. That's what I did. Some arugula. <laughs> so I think I put a little too much, hold on. Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna go for it. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> That's it. Again, foodie heaven. Oh my goodness. Delicious, huh? Okay. And now I'm thinking I should just get the hundred dollar one and just take some of this home. This is so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so happy for you for the sandwich because like the arugula on it, like it is good. <laughs> That's how you know we like it. The chocolate bar. Chicken sandwich. But yeah, guys, if you're at Pim's Kitchen again, get yourself this or try to get yourself the hundred dollar sandwich if you can. Cause this is good and you probably want to take some home too with you. <laughs> so there's your choco smash. Look, it's a chocolate bar with nougat. You have peanut butter, you have caramel. Technically kind of like a like a large, like a large uh, Snickers bar. <laughs> and I'm sure it tastes better than wow. a Snickers bar. Look. Mm. Whoa! So decadent, full of chocolate and fun flavors of peanut butter and soft nougat. You also have your delicious decadent chocolate. Let me just say, this is delicious. It's basically your in like your large up uh, Snickers bar. But honestly, I think it's better than a Snickers bar. Don't forget to grab this. Maybe grab two or three or four or five because these are kind of addicting. I love them. Yes. Right, so right here we have the PB3, and this is a sandwich. Look at this, this is a superb sandwich. It has bacon, it has banana, and peanut butter and jelly. And right over here on the side, that's a little banana smoothie. So just like the banana smoothie Janelle had earlier, but they shrunk it down for me. Let's try this out, and look, it's got that little design on the uh, sandwich. <laughs> mm. You do get the nice sweetness of the jelly. You do get a nice savory bacon bite. You also get a little bit of that peanut butter taste. I don't know, it's a little weird <laughs> for me. It's actually not bad, but it's a little too strange. Now, would I get this again? Probably not. I feel like the bananas are a little too mushy and uh, the textures are a little weird. You got the crunchiness of the bacon and you have the sogginess of the banana. The peanut butter is actually not bad because it's, it's peanut butter. Who doesn't like peanut butter? And then, of course, you have the sweetness of the jelly. Uh, and the bread is a little stale. Oh, that's not good. But you do get some tater tots and you also get some banana smoothie. And I love banana smoothies. See, that's good. Um, this is a pass for me, but good news. We actually just got summoned to go on the Web Slingers attraction, so we're gonna do that right now. Are you ready for this, you know? Yes. Finally nightfall here in Avengers yeah. Campus. Everything here looks amazing. Hang on, my head's beaming. Talk to me. Is there cheese? I'm on my way. Yes, I'll get Scott out of it first. Well, everyone, Ant-Man is stuck in a pretzel, which is a typical sentence around here. Gotta run, but hey, have a great day at Avengers Campus. Do you guys like these? Oh my gosh, those are, they are amazing. cool? And they have like different modes too. Like my favorite is the hard one. So you guys let me know when like it happens, because all I see is twinkly. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know, okay? All right. Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's my favorite. Look at that. This is what you know I love food. I'm just gonna use this and be like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the coolest goggles I've seen. Right? They're so cool. And I can see right through them. It's it is I use them in daytime and you can see right through it. But nighttime is a little bit harder because like the bright lights right here, but yeah, it's fun. I like these. Nice. And what's cool too is you also have that light-up gauntlet, so you can wear that I too do. at the same time. It's in my backpack right now, so I'm gonna pull it out right now and just be all like <laughs> showing off the merch. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you shot some webs. Are you all ready? I'm ready. There you go. 
Isn't that cool? Oh! <laughs> you gotta be careful, don't point it at yourself. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Gonna see all his friends getting taken out. This is a nice one. Oh, okay. The other ones are evil. He would be helping us if he could. All right, you ready, Janelle? Let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go. Open house time. <laughs> something guys whoa Janelle, you know you look so cool <laughs> look at this I got I bought every souvenir <laughs> tell me you've been to Avengers campus without telling me you've been I got Avengers you right campus. here <laughs> <laughs> wow you look awesome though okay I think I'm ready to go home now <laughs> what's okay. happening behind you so much noise whoa, whoa. what is that what is going on? Janelle's like, what the yeah, heck? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <Just dead. laughs> Avengers Campus really comes to life at night. Mm -hmm. It looks amazing, guys. Everything lit up. It just looks like you're in another world. And Janelle looks awesome. You did too. <laughs> Thank you. I like my pin. I know. Everyone kept thinking like that was a sweater from them, but that's a, that's actually your sweater. But everyone you thought this was like <laughs> an Avengers campus sweater, but it's not. It's just a pin. It's a limited edition one too. It's my favorite now. But uh, yeah, such a great time. The early when we got here in the morning, it was a little. Oh, it was kind of a. It's because of the waiting and the heat and the confusion. But yeah. I mean, once like you know it's not that hyped up i'm sure things will go back to normal but as of right now i'm sure right whew. yeah as right now everything's like taking a little longer like mobile orders <laughs> might be gone in like the first hour that it's yeah. open so you might want to check on that let me just tell you guys yeah. it's going to be lines 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 here in avengers campus mm -hmm. you're gonna have to get in line to get food i have to get in line <laughs> to get water I have to get in line to go to the restroom. You're gonna have to get in line to get on a ride. Lots You're gonna get lines. in line to buy some merch. And lots of mobile orders. Yep. So. so just be prepared for that. Letting you know, there's even a line to get in here. Yes. <laughs> uh, right now at this moment. So I don't know if it's gonna be continuing on after today, but I'm pretty sure. Like I've seen that, like those kinks are straightened now. I'm sure things are get more lenient yeah, for I'm now. Sure. It's the first day. It's Everyone first wants day. to be at Avengers Campus. So, and let me just tell you though, it, it was a lot incredible. of fun and it was <laughs> worth it and uh it was. you'll definitely see me back here in avengers campus you will <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time guys we're gonna go back for those shawarmas oh we have to come back for the shawarmas <laughs> we just want to say thank you guys for watching us we had a fantastic yes. time if you guys really like what we do be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe mm -hmm. join us if you haven't subscribed then what, what are you doing? doing but we'll see you guys here well, next time on magic one, journeys the oh the wonderful world of food <laughs> it's been a long day guys Not we'll see you guys too. here next time bye, bye.